Mail merge is a great time saver if you need to create multiple documents that are mostly the same but unique in some way, like name tags for an event or envelopes printed with each person's name and address. The document I have here is a letter offering customers a discount on their next order. I want to personalize it by addressing each copy of the letter to the customer using some information I have stored in a spreadsheet. To begin, go to the Mailings tab, then Start Mail Merge, and select Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. This will walk you through the process one step at a time using this pane on the right. The type of document I'm working with is a letter, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And I also plan to stick with my current document instead of using something else like a template. Now I need an address list so Word can create a copy of each letter for each customer. To start from scratch, you can type a new list, then click Create to enter your recipients individually. Alternatively, if you do have an existing document with the information you need, like an Excel workbook in my case, choose Use an existing list, then Browse to find it. Now click Open, and select the worksheet that contains the list. I know mine is in Sheet 1. In this example, you can uncheck any recipients that you don't want to include. I want to include everybody though, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now it shows that workbook as my recipient list. So now it's time to write my letter. You can add something unique for each recipient, including their address, a personal greeting, and more. I'd like to add an address block first. Just place your cursor where you want it to go, then click the item. Here's a preview of what it's going to look like, and a few alternative formats to choose from for the recipient's name. Click OK, and a placeholder will appear in your document. This is where the address will go later on. The other thing I'd like to add is a greeting. Again, you have a preview here, and the ability to change some of the formatting if you'd like. Let's move on to the next step, previewing the finished product. I just want to make sure the information from my list appears the way it should. You can take a look at each recipient's copy by clicking the arrows here. Everything looks great, so let's complete the merge. If you click the print command, mail merge will ask which pages you want to print before sending you to the final step. I want to print every document in my recipient list, so I'm just going to keep all. Now all you have to do is adjust the settings if you need to, then click OK. Knowing how to use mail merge is a must for creating multiple letters, labels, envelopes, and more. The possibilities, along with the time and energy you'll save, are practically endless.